Um, what's up, welcome back to another so Minecraft, this is another how to build. Um, before we start this, I'm going to tell you how long this freaking took. Two hours. It took two hours for, for me to figure out how to build this monster of a bridge. It's kind of hard, and it's so hard, I actually had to add three levers, because I was not going to try to make it one lever. I could have undone it easily, but I did not want to get in done to with all the timing, because it took me, I started this at 6.30, it's close to 9. It took me two hours to figure it out, about 20 minutes to build it. So, um, I made a little demonstration here, it's not a big one, so this, one's, this one just took me two hours to build this, okay, this is a very small one. I'm going to cover up all this redstone, real, all this real quick. So I'm just going to grab the old half slab because this requires, um, if you want this to completely be sealed, half slabs are usually the way to go because, um, and it can't be like half, half a half slab, it has to be a whole block above it. And a half slab is the best way of figuring, showing that. So I'm just going to half slab all this, um, then we're going to get into, and as you can see, it's very messy. Um, I had a bunch of friends over at this world to play around, hang around. Um, they did a lot of things. Uh, come, come, come. They did this stuff over here. Um, I want diamonds. Where are my diamonds? I was lied to. Just say it's a lie. The whole thing. It's all a lie. Everything's a lie. Oh God! It's all full of lies. No, we don't talk about that room. What's in here? What's in here? What's in Bad rock? What does this do? Ah, you're a lava! A lava! Ha! <laughs> ha! There's staircases. Let me see what's happening. That's pretty cool. Push for diamonds. No! It's the same room! Okay, um... Diamonds in the chest. Okay. That doesn't mean anything, right? Just because they're cake does not mean they're going to lie. It does. No. Get away from me. I don't want to lie. Get out. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. I don't want to speak to you ever again. The cake's a lot. The cake's a lie. Okay, back to this. Um, they also built a couple other things you can see over here and all around here. Um, this one guy just built a giant tower of ores and mined it all. Um, let's see what else they built. I don't know where else they've been to. I think it's just this channel area. Let's check over here. Um, a lot of this stuff is mine. That was mine. Uh, this was also mine that I built. I built this. Yeah, um, somebody, I don't know what was this. I'm going to break this real quick and, you know. I guess some, uh, I put this guy on survival because he wanted to be on survival. I guess he wanted to check this place out and he had some diamond door and everything. But that's basically what uh, my friends was doing while it took me two freaking hours to build this. Poop. Um, so basically, um, it's a it's a bridge. If you have a kind, if you, if you don't want to ha get a bunch of lava and you just want to dig a ditch, this is the kind of bridge for you. This is very complex and, God, this took forever. Like, I'm not even going to tell you that, you know, this is easy, this is, this is one of the more complex bridges, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's a really neat bridge if you want to, like, really show off your redstone techniques or something. You know, uh, you flick this lever, it pushes these two forward. Flick this lever, it pushes the other two forward. Flick this lever, it pushes the last of them forward. And then you flick them again in this row, and it pushes them back slowly. And suddenly the bridge is gone! Oh my god, how you do that? And then you just, you know, you just do this, and then you do this, and the bridge is connected again. You can just easily walk around to a cool little island. Oh my god, have a dance party! Yeah! Okay, so we just, and then you can just, oh, no, wrong, wrong one. Uh, yeah, what's, we have, they all have to be in the same order. So the reverse order of what you did it. So it's just like this, and then it does that, and the bridge is gone. Um, 
The redstone is kind of hard to explain, but I'll do my best. Basically, um, it can only do three blocks at a time. So every time you do it over here, you have to do it over here three blocks and back over here. But it has to be only three blocks. Can't be two, can't be four, can't be one. Has to be three. Guaranteed three. Only three. No more. That's it. That's the number you get. This is a very strict thing. So because that's the amount of blocks that uh, the piston can push. The slime block plus the three stone. That's the max. So that's how it'll have to work. Um, so basically, intervals of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So if you're like a very even person who has to have a 0 or a 5 at the end, I'm just going to light this up for you all so you can see everything. Um, as you can see, the redstone is... You're looking at yourself and you're thinking, I thought I was a good genius. <laughs> no, I'm playing. You're looking at yourself and thinking, uh, you either don't know it or you know it. That's what you did. That's what some people. That's that's how I class. When you get to this kind of redstone, I classify people by two things: you know it or you don't. Like, that's it. Um, this one's not too hard to explain. It's basically I usually when I do stuff like this, when I build giant redstone machines, I build them. It's the same thing except in a much grander scheme, and a bigger kind of plot. As you can see here, um, I took the bridge. Pushed in, I took that granite plot, and slime blocks can move anything. They, they can move stuff. But, um, if you have a slime block connected to another slime block, and you have one pish, piston moving on that slime block, it can move. But, if you're moving a stone, and they have the slime block connected to it, the stone will not move the slime block. It has to be a slime block moving something, and then the slime block will move the other blocks. So I have slime blocks right here, so it moves the piston up, to this redstone torch, which if you see my last episode, if you have a redstone torch under the redstone torch, this redstone torch will turn off. And to turn off this redstone torch, you have to have a circuit going to this specific redstone repeater, which will turn off this redstone torch, which will turn this on, which will then put a signal up here, and that's why the piston needs to move, because it needs to move towards the redstone signal. And this one will also move, if this moves, the slime blocks will like push every other slime block, anything that's connected to it will push. It will push it. So it pushes it, it pushes this piston and this piston. And then this piston will turn on under the rest of the signal. It will push this piston and also push all these slime blocks closer to the um closer to the block as usual. It'll push the pistons closer and closer to the blocks and then it'll push this piston to under this redstone signal and then and then that will push the slime next to the block and to retract it, you just do the opposite. Um, even though these are all on, if you, you can, the only way you can move a turned on sig a turned on um, um, you, um, these are actually turned off because when this block moves, it carries it doesn't carry them because it's a turned on signal. So if because nothing can move, Nothing can move a uh, piston when it's turned on. Nothing. I don't care what, what it is. Nothing can move it. Unless you break it. You can break it, you can't move it. That's the law. Okay. So the sign block will disconnect from this piston. So you can retract it. You can retract the sign block without retracting the piston or having the pistons interfere since it's a turned on signal. And then, God, if you're sticking with this, thank you. Because I am very bad at this. I'm very bad at explaining. I'll probably have to go over this it's simpler too. I'll go, re go over this. And then this piston. So we have it back connected with this piston, which is still turned on. So when I turn that off, it will reconnect with this piston, which was still turned on. I turn that off. It will move this all the way back to this designated area with the two stone that it tried to get because slime blocks push anything that push or pull anything that is connected to it. And that is why that I have half slabs. Oh, fun fact. Um, just a little thing here. It, um, let's just break everything around here. Fun fact. Really fun and stupid fact. Okay, let's grab this. Um, the reason, and this is the reason why the half slabs are one block above the slime block. Because the slime block actually registers the half slab to be a whole block so it moves it to be connected 
even though it's technically not. So, that's a little fun thing over there, and it's kind of annoying when I was trying to build this. Again, it took me two freaking hours, and I'm kind of annoyed by it. So, what should, it would be easier to just demonstrate it. So, I'm going to pull one lever. This is the beginning lever. As you can see, this block moves, and these two blocks also move. And since there's no signal, like as you can see here, um, the blocks do not push the other sign blocks. So, we're going to click it again. And also, same over here. Same over here. This is just... No, I had another block. We're going to put the second lever. The second lever activates this signal right over here. Activates this. Which will then, is under this, it will push the piston over. As you can see, they're kind of getting connected, but it's not a straight line yet. But you can, you don't really have to. This is just for a nice test. Um, so, and we push the third one, which is over here. Um, these are connected. And this is moved over here, and the piston is activated which pushes it, it should push it, but it doesn't, mainly because of the fact that these two are already connected, and this is actually technically stronger than this, so it doesn't push it. But as you can see, over here, this is, the signal is on, and it pushes it, connecting the two like a walkway. And then you can get to your cool little island. Now, um, this is good for, like, the effect you want to have a nice, neat little, um, pit around your entire island or you want to have like a cool walkway put some lava at the bottom under it and take it away um, or you just want to have a cool pit and the reason why and you can only move it two blocks so it wouldn't be much of a pit so you just have to um, make it another way but I think this is pretty neat so it's just like if you want to break away all this and kind of make it nice there you go it's just we kind of make a nice little island with only one way to get through so let's just break all this and like see if this is an island and if there's only one way to get through you can do that um, that's what I was trying to build it for but it's not really that effective but again you can have it at a kind of bigger scale I was going to but because the piston can actually move 25 blocks but I don't know why I'm only moving like 12 blocks. I guess slime blocks count as 2. I don't know. Um, but let's get down to here because this stuff um, is just basically the circuit that connects, that pushes this. The reason why it's so big is because I'm kind of a roomy person. I like a lot of room. and uh, I didn't have to be this big. It could be very small, but I did this mainly to restrict how many levers I would like because um, so this, the, the circuit on this side connects to the circuit on this side, which, pu which pushes these both simultaneously, and so I only have to use one lever instead of two for each one, so in actuality you can use six, but you can have three, you can have one, um, but that's kind of difficult and painful and I did not want to demonstrate that. Um, it took me two hours to do this already, yeah. And then this one, yeah, they're all just basically circuits, and I had to, like, bob and weave around the circuits because, you know, you can't have them connect, or else the lever would mess with that one and this one, and a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other variables had to get into this, and I did not want to demonstrate these variables, because I am very complicated, because I like showing everybody the simplest term possible, and it becomes complex, and it becomes stupid, and very redundant. Don't. Talk to me, don't play. Um, but this is basically, I'm not going to build this, because, oh god, you would not want to see me build this. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to get rid of this, and you can see it goes away, and I just basically said the same thing over. Flick lever, stuff happens. Flick lever, more stuff happens. Flick lever, the last thing happens. And I'll see you guys later, because I press button, thing turn off. Bye!